Olympia Fulvia Marata in Cicerones Paradoxa, Episode 8. De teritus cumulis collegati stramenus, arcam gravissimi plumbi plenam, quam stramena subi re maluit, onus non ex onere, sed ex apparenti magnitudine judicans. Here Olympia continues, likening her foray into the world of letters to this fable about the servant, the Kahlo, who is reluctant to carry a burden. She says, Deteritus, having been frightened away, or when he was frightened away, by the mounds, cumulis, this is masculine, plural, and ablative, by the mounds of collected hay, collegati stramenus, which is neuter singular and genitive, third declension stramen, arcam, planam, a basket or a box full of very heavy lead, gravissimi plumbi. So plenam and arcam are both feminine, singular, and accusative. Arcam the noun, plenam modifying it, and gravissimi plumbi is neuter, singular, and genitive. Plumbum is lead. It's modified by the superlative adjective gravissimi, neuter, singular, genitive. So, having been frightened away by a, a mound or by the mounds of gathered straw, he preferred, maluit, he preferred to go under, that is, to pick up an arcam planum, a basket or a box full of very heavy lead, than to carry stramina, the straw. He did so, eudicons, estimating or judging, this is a present active participle, masculine, singular, and nominative, from the first conjugation verb, judicare, judging, judging the burden, non ex honore, not from the burden itself, you might say. This seems like an awkward expression, frankly, onus non ex honore, but from its ex apparenti magnitudine, but from its apparent or evident, it's the way it appeared, its size. In other words, the Mound of straw looked large, but it actually was much lighter than the smaller Arcom Planum Gravissimi Plumbi.